Right, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning, depending on where you are. I'm Catania Alvin, and uh, or Project Truth Warrior, and I'm speaking from London in Hampstead, so London, the UK, and I have something extremely interesting. I'm a great follower and uh, of and appreciator of the LaRouche Pack and Lyndon LaRouche, who's now, he must be 94, 95, something like that. Um, and he set up this wonderful organization called LaRouche La Pack. And this is Will Wirtz um, speaking with um, Senator Black, um, who's, that introduction was very quiet. Um, he's just actually saying, we're really on the edge. And when he talks about the United States and the UK and France, but the United States, it's that part of the deep state that is doing its own thing. And the UK and France are all aiding uh, financially, etc. The rebels, uh, they call them freedom fighters, conveniently, but they are the murderers. They're the mercenary armies from all around the world. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, thank goodness, that's louder. As, as you know, uh, I had a this is Senator career. Richard Black. Was, uh, colonel in the Pentagon and uh, served in very fierce the Republican for in Vietnam, Virginia. And, uh, and so I, I have lived with military foreign policy really throughout my life. Um, I had a tremendous visit to Syria. Uh, I met several hours with President uh, Bashar al-Assad. Uh, the legitimate, duly elected president of uh, Syria, recognized by the United Nations as the leader of Syria. And uh, uh, this is the second time that I've met with him. I met with him two years ago, uh, and this time there was, a, there was sort of a buoyancy, a, a spring in his step uh, as he sees the, the final demise of the terrorist uh, that we have funneled into Syria. Uh, they're trapped in a pocket uh, in an area called Idlib province. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a substantial area, but, but small in terms of the entire nation of, of Syria. We have trapped the greatest terror army uh, on earth in Idlib province. I say we it's the Syrian army, the Russians, and their allies. Um, but I say we in the sense that the civilized world has trapped them. Uh, these are the worst of the worst. The overall commander is a man uh, named Al Julani. Al Julani was uh, one of the principal lieutenants of al Baghdadi, the founder of ISIS. And uh, so uh, Al Jalani worked as the uh, head of ISIS in Nineveh province in Iraq. Uh, this man, he is the, the senior field commander for Al Qaeda in the entire world. And he is trapped along with these other terrorists in Idlib province. And, uh, uh, the United States, ironically, has a $10 million bounty on his head. And uh, so... A $10 million bounty? He, all, all of the rebels have placed themselves under his general command. He is the commander-in-chief of all terrorists in Idlib province. Uh, I estimate, no one knows precise figures, but I'm estimating 
about 40,000 terrorists who are trapped there. Uh, they have nowhere to go at this point because no one wants them. They're dangerous everywhere that they go. Uh, wherever they go, they, uh, they are sworn to murder all infidels, all people who are Christians, Jews, uh, Alawites, uh, it doesn't matter what they are, any, any, even, even Sunnis, they are sworn to execute them if they do not adhere to the 7th century doctrines of ancient Wahhabism. The Syrian army has accumulated troops and surrounded this group. There's a great battle on, that's being planned. The, the dead-enders of the Western world, the ones who have, who have tried to topple Syria for the last seven years, uh, are determined not to give up to the final uh, moment and so uh, we have excellent intelligence uh, out of Idlib province that has told us that British MI6 agents, and they're working through a group called Olive, uh, which is sort of a Blackwater spinoff, and uh, uh, they are planning a gas attack. There is some uncertainty whether it will be an actual gas attack or whether it's simply a faked attack like they did in Duma recently, where there were there was no poison gas used, but uh, simply a pretext. And the idea is they will they will have the white helmets who are part of Al Qaeda. They're the propaganda arm of Al Qaeda. They will be rushing around and they'll be treating people and. This is, he's speaking such truth. This is all backs up all the study I've done on this ghastly situation. I was doing research on Bashar Assad way before any of this uh, issues happened. And let me just add, it is not a civil war. It is a war of aggression from the West or some of the West on to Syria because they he would he has Bashar Assad has said no to allowing an oil pipeline through his country so they'll be photographing of course that's their principal job is to, to get video they'll put it out and they'll say look at this and one of those photographs or maybe the only one I've just put out so go on to my YouTube and Project Truth Warrior and see if you can find it. The, uh, the Syrians have used poison gas. Uh, now, those who have studied intensively know that there has not been a Syrian gas attack carried out any time during the war. I absolutely back that up, what he's saying. There has not been. You never know it from reading the mainstream media but not one of them has panned out as being valid. Uh, but they will portray it. The, the mainstream media will report it immediately. They will not say who did it. They will immediately blame it on the Syrian government, as they have every time. Um, it is striking that in all of the years, seven years, not one journalist has ever said, uh, can you answer this question? Why, with this vast war underway, would President Assad order the killing of a handful of civilians and never employ poison weapons against the enemy? Uh, there's, nev there's never been a time that uh, faced with, uh, with thousands of enemy troops that, uh, that uh, poison gas has been used. 